fully out rather than losing. So. Win goal last year. I'm sure that's a that's a goal again this year. What's yeah. what's what do you think you have, you're gonna have to do to, to do it in London? Uh, definitely, I think the gold medals have to run under 50 three seconds. I know that for sure. After the Olympics previously, they have done that. So um, I have to take off a second of my time, <laughs> uh, which I know how to get there. I've done it before, and uh, I think that definitely will get you on that podium. So. Hey, what's the difference between what you did today and a 52? Uh, more fitness. <laughs> I'm not in uh, top, top shape right now. Like I said, I was coming back from an injury and um, I still have a little more work to do, but uh, going through these rounds showed me that I'm not that far off, so I think this month of training will do me well. Is it a little bit of a surprise to you that you're that even with the limited window that you have? That, that you are where you, I mean, you're one of the two women in the world right now to be at 53? The, to be absolutely true, I, I honest, I, I'm very surprised, you know. It was really tough. I had a very bad injury, and um, this was my first time ever being out for six weeks. You know, just like I can't do anything. So uh, I was surprised, and after the first round, I was confident because I didn't feel that. You know, in my previous practices, I've kind of been doubting myself because you know I'm just not as fast as I was last year at this time. But definitely, each round gave me more confidence. When did the six weeks out? I tell. Oh, you want to tell? No, <laughs> I don't like giving people my my, my uh, full business. <laughs> I'll tell you I'm injured and my mom talked me into letting people know that because normally I don't let. Even at the World Championships I was injured running so I normally don't tell people that but uh, this year she said you should, you should let people know. I mean, you're the only person coached by their mom that clearly works for you. I mean talk a little bit about that. Well she just knows her stuff. You know a lot of people don't know that. She's been in the track, track and field world our community since I was a little baby. I have pictures of me on the track with her when I was in diapers so that's how long our family has been in this track community. Uh, she knows her stuff. She knows how to get me there and the only reason it took me this long to train with her is because I knew how hard it would be and I didn't feel like training that hard. So I kind of avoided her for all these years but I knew what I wanted to do she would be able to get me there and so I just went with it. Did you get any like when you first suggested it did like when your sponsors like your mom that she can't coach you or is there any kind of a pushback? Lot of people thought I made a horrible mistake because um, when I first started training with her, my season started off very slow and I think it was only because my body was getting used to the hard training. And so it kinda takes you your body a while to get used to the training and then being able to compete under that coaching. You know, I've been under a different coaching for four years and came to a whole other coach. You have to get used to that. So a lot of people you know, had doubts about me moving with her, but I went to the World Championships, and that year I ran my fastest time in my career, so I made the right move. Nice job, Mr.